so here's my list. All right, here's why I think it could it has such potential. One of the biggest downfalls in BRs is spawn weapons and RNG. We saw this a lot in Fortnite. Worst player gets gold scar, wins gunfight against better player that only has pistol. So just like we do in regular Halo in in casual or ranked, you have a spawn weapon. Now, what is the spawn weapon? I like BR. Maybe it's an AR. I don't know. Maybe you use a, a BR as a ground loot. DMR, I think past DMRs needs to be floor loot. I think commando could maybe be a spawn weapon. Or do we just give them a pistol that is like a Halo? I think Halo 5's pistol was That's like exactly where perfect. my head was at. So regardless, though, I think you give everybody a spawn weapon. So it's a completely balanced playing field from the start. And then from there, I think that your floor loot should be most of our traditional weapons. I think we should have SMGs, shotguns, some of the covenant weapons like the carbine, you know, some of the plasma guns could be floor loot, the needler. But there's there's my floor loot, basically your standard layout of, of most of the halo guns. I do have on here question mark hammer, question mark grenade launcher, not rockets. Like maybe we could do it. Maybe they have to be more rare or maybe they're just not floor loot at all because that would affect the game being truly competitive. I like, mean, here's the thing. It's a trade off. So if you have the same kind of aspect of two guns, you taking a hammer is one less gun that you can use to range yeah so you're committing to either the pistol the br and everything else to finish your fights otherwise you best be getting close enough that you're killing them with a the hammer yeah so i i mean that's why I, I do think like halo sandbox like you're saying kind of works for almost all guns and then for the equipment right i think we can keep most of halo's traditional equipment you have you know the i don't know the actual name for it, but it was like the power drain thing like it would drain your shields all the uh dynamo grenades <laughs> they are the same thing <laughs> i guess they are they really are <laughs> yeah i was gonna ask like where is that equipment in infinite but the dynamos really are the same thing i think we can keep most of the grenades the the splinter grenade i think one thing that would be really interesting would be teleporters yes i think they should be in a br because it adds another element of mental to it on both offense and defense like you have to not only know where you're putting this and remember where you put it you also have to be aware that somebody else could also have one nearby you're never safe i don't know i i think teleporters should stay and now for the power weapons and power-ups and i think this is the biggest thing i think that you should have your traditional power weapons. You should have your sniper, your rocket, your sword. I like the Spartan laser more than the skewer. Oh, the, yeah, the skewer. Okay, yeah. at first I thought you were talking about the cinder shot. No, no, no. But Spartan laser, yeah. like I think we keep those. Camo and overshields should be um, power ups that you find throughout the map, not just random floor loot. And then the interesting part here, I have in parentheses, like should these power ups and power weapons be on timers like in multiplayer? Should you basically start using them as soon as you pick them up? Like you run through the overshield and now you have overshield or should they be pickup items like we have an in infinite where you actually carry it around and they go on upon activation so i like the infinite aspect that you can kind of activate it whenever and then you have that limited time to use it strategically yeah um so which now uh, the infinite I, I has love, done that i i agree yeah um, uh, i love the deteriorating aspect of overshield i think that's a unique part of that ability so imagine you hold overshield get into a clutch fight that fight doesn't transpire and now all of a sudden 30 seconds later you don't have that overshield anyway yeah like it's not guaranteed to come into effect just because you hold on to it yeah it's almost like a bloodhound ult in uh in, yeah in Apex. it's like <laughs> you save it you save it you save it it's still useless yep or you but use it's a it deterrent early sometimes. but it made but it made no difference yeah um, and, and sometimes it's just a deterrent rather than a fight advantage yeah and then on that i think what would be really cool obviously the map would be made up of you know older fan favorite halo maps and stuff like that plus some aspects of just new map stuff but i think it'd be really cool if they based basically made similar to how apex has like its high loot tier areas or whatever like you basically yep. get these hot zones which have increased likelihood of the power-ups and power weapons then when dropping in you basically have to decide okay do i go into the hot zone where i know it might be really high demand and a bunch of people are there or do i play it safe and play more of a long-term game or maybe you know maybe play in between and you try to play somewhat safe and conservative but close enough that you can maybe third party and steal these power-ups and power weapons i think that would be a cool way to basically initiate the game and then also if the power-ups and power weapons are on timers it would be a cool way to also force rotations in a battle royale outside of just the zone forcing those rotations now yes the zone is going to force you to change the map a little bit but imagine if your plan has to change because you know rockets might be coming up in two minutes over in this other area yeah i think it creates this really cool dynamic of playing it safe 
or high risk, high reward. So that's what I was going to say is I think it's it, it would be better probably not off drop for those kind of things to be in the game. And then you have like, OK, so look at your like bulldog and stuff like that, your your tier two uh, power weapons, right? Uh, you can only have one on the map at a time. Those would drop earlier in the game, maybe a couple minutes into the game, your round one, your your circle one or whatever you want to call it. And those are things that you would fight for. So you would have like look at Halo 5 where they had a uh, tiered power ups as well. You could almost have tiered power ups in this BR are where uh, Overshield 1 drops Ring 1 and it lasts maybe 30 seconds. So yeah, it's good versus for like, like one fight. Ring 4 or something. Has like an Overshield 3 that lasts a minute and a half and has that extra layer of Overshield. You know, something like that. Of course balancing would have to be, you know, in the works. But like those drops that you're talking about are announced in the battlefield. Okay, this, you know, and on the countdown time yeah. levels. Like you have to fight for it. You have to fight for the area, earn the area, and, and then you, well, and I then think you get your drop. What's cool too is actually if you do take, you know, say tiered power ups you know it does make sense because by late game everybody's going to be full pretty stacked theoretically but one of the things you see a lot in battle royales is like who always comes out on top the third team in almost always wins the fight but what if that third team in comes in and you still have 45 sec seconds on your overshield yep. well now your third party ain't working out so well it's a much yeah. more balanced fight than you thought you were getting into i think that's again another reason why halo could do so well as a battle royale and on top of that with the power ups and power weapons i think just like multiplayer in rank like they should be limited ammo you know maybe you get lucky you grab rockets or a sniper on ring two that shouldn't carry you for the next 15 minutes that should not carry you all the way to a dub something that happened in ring two now you can replenish the ammo maybe someone else got it and they didn't use it or maybe it's like magnum ammo in in PUBG where you can only get it from other box other supply drops yeah ultimately i think the power-ups or more so the power weapons they have a very finely tuned and balanced ammo limit so I think that almost everything would need a you know a finite ammo and everything else outside of your starting weapon. Basically, it, whatever your spawn the, weapon. the starting weapon should yeah. be infinite ammo. It really shouldn't matter how many shots you're wasting. It's basically your base gun, and then from there, the higher the tier, the less ammo you got. So yeah. like either uh, infinite ammo or just so readily available that you almost would never run out anyways. Yeah. So th the idea I think behind infinite ammo is it actually is a a unique way of having some players keep that gun so think about it if you're limiting it to two guns what's probably the first thing you're going to try to do drop that starting weapon and get two other guns yeah right or do you make whereas, the choice of keeping a maybe slightly worse weapon that never runs out of ammo exactly whereas yeah if you have that infinite ammo there that in itself is a reason to kind of keep it you're never going to be caught in an area where like oh i might not have ammo for this and i think on top of that too like that also makes you rethink the approach towards the power weapons well do you keep your base gun and hope to grab a power weapon as your second or do you just get like a tier two gun as your second you keep two tier two guns and try to get like a power up and later on like ultimately it's a more technically sound battle royale than what we've had so far which for me my two i think most competitive battle royales with the least amount of rng involved are PUBG and apex apex because i think it is hands down the most difficult and most complicated and then PUBG because the weapons all have pretty much the same time to kill but that in itself is a unique uh tool of like the developer if they can make it where certain guns maybe feel better but they all do have similar time to kills and you're playing based off your preference that's a good balance of a sandbox and then as far as like meds go i think eliminate them yep i think just keep normal region like yep. uh, maybe I, extend times and stuff like that but i, I yes. think every battle royale has some form of like med kits or bandages Halo would thrive in the inverse of Warzone. Uh, yeah. I think that you take the ODST approach, your shields recharging and your health doesn't and you would need health packs. But those health packs aren't stuff that goes in your inventory or anything else. They're just you need to find them and hit them like that ODST type yeah. style. Yeah, I've been wanting to make this video <laughs> on why be such a good battle royale. This list was first made March 10th of 2021, but the concept in the actual like initial list, I mentioned first in my very first podcast in 2017. I just haven't found a way to make this into a video. And now I have, so thank you. There you go. And you, and you approach the game in, in a similar way. Like you're all mental, like, because my biggest problem with most battle royales is like, there's just so much RNG that goes into it. Even the circle rotation, which mm -hmm 
is where I think, you know, putting the power weapons and stuff on a timer, like, yeah, it's still random where the circle goes, but now your decision making is less random. It's more intended. There's a purpose behind that decision. And I think Part it caters it to a lot of players. Like it caters to new players that do want to approach the game very safely and slowly. And it caters to your really good players that want to go in for those hot zones and try to, you know, take out a few teams and walk out with the best loot. Part of what Halo does well too is a lot of times they're the power ups and stuff like that are not in strong positions on the map. They're in vulnerable Yes, they positions. put you in very exposed positions. So if you so take even, that concept with a battle royale and you make that they're never in the power positions, now you have to make that decision like you're saying of are you going for the power up? or the power position. Yeah, that is something that, like, I don't think of it actively, but I know Halo does do that on purpose, and they've done it really well, is always putting those power-ups in highly exposed areas. Like, maybe you pick them up, but maybe you die before you can use them. Yep. And now it's just a scramble again. And then on top of that, of course, you know, the circle would have to be the flood. Like <laughs> That would be cool. That was, like, when I first even started thinking about this, that was the first thing that was the most obvious. What else would it be? Overall, I think still Halo has the ultimate potential 